And one of the, the great things about technology is that so many people can take part. And I think one of the bad things about technology is like, if you go on, if you go on Twitter right now, there are uh, professional comedians out there trying material, putting jokes out. And then there are people like Phil in accounting putting jokes out as well. And this weird thing happens where, because Phil is in accounting, he, his jokes are now getting judged by HR, but then somehow yes. that, sh that blurs over into now comedians are being judged by HR departments. Yes. And it's like, whoa, 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 hold on a second, hold on a second. I don't work for your company. This is what, I'm doing something uh, different here. And I'm re I really wanna get to a point where those lines are not as blurry in that it's like, okay, we're good with these jokes. You know, I, I, let me do my thing. I feel like you hit on the right problem because I, you know, I, not everything, everything isn't for everyone, right? Every comedian has the ability to build their own brand, right? When you do edgy humor, you're taking a risk, you know, you're sort of building your own following and, you know, not, not every gig is appropriate for every performer and that's up to the decider on that. But I think you're absolutely right that we are now living in a culture where people that are not stand-up comedians, people that are not edgelords are posting things on Twitter or Facebook and suddenly it becomes, you know, some company's responsibility to police uh, the, the brand of their company through what people are doing on their personal social media. And that's a huge danger for the freedom of expression across the board. 